On this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the old crappy drawers with this. All right, so you have these outdated cabinets here and your drawers are not even sliding anymore. We just refinished this kitchen, so we might as well do a nice bonus to our clients and install these nice self-close undermount sliders. These are the sliders, these are the undermount sliders. On this particular job site, we use DTC brand from Marathon Hardware. Uh, however, we use a lot of Blum and Silici and a couple of other ones as well. Pretty much all of them work great just because of the type of it, the undermount. They are good up to 30 kg, I believe, in terms of weight that you can put on it. Okay, so here's the first thing you want to do. You want to check the depth of your drawer. And in this case, it is 20. So we bought the 20 inch rails. Now, these boxes were not made for this particular type of hardware. So we're going to need to fix a couple of things. But... Everything's doable when you have a little bit of patience and creativity. Here's what we're gonna do next. To make our life easier, we wanna check if it fits first. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. As now, as you can see, my drawer sits flush a little further in which is great. And you can kind of see how far in your slider should be installed. But you gotta keep in mind that there's a little bit of a pin on the back side that's gonna steal another quarter inch off of it. Thus your sliders would need to move a little forward. Now it's very important to install the sliders properly. And here's how you do it. I do have a wall on this side. However, I don't have anything on this side. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drill a hole in my slider right here. I'm gonna screw it down to this plate here. I'm gonna use one of these smaller screws to attach this rail to the bottom panel. It's always a good idea to pre-drill before you put your screws in to make your substrate not split. The front side of the rails is attached. Now we're moving to the back. All right, so here's what you want to do now. You want to install them parallel. We're going to slide them out and measure the distance between them and make sure it's the same. 11 3 quarter, 11 3 quarter. Now we got a mark right there. This is a plank that we installed in addition to that one to hold our sliders. As you can see, our new sliders weren't reaching the back plank right there. And what we did here, we cut a plank to size and installed it with a couple of screws from underneath there and a simple bracket, simple metal bracket right there. We can put some sort of a shim behind here, some piece of wood, finger joint pine or any other kind of a hard wood just so it prevents this thing from moving. Instead of drilling through the gable, which is finished gable in this case, I'm gonna glue it from the inside. And that's good enough because we don't need it to be super, super tight. Uh, the drawer will be sitting on the bottom rail. Now I'm gonna glue my piece onto the side panel using two component glue. This is Sienna acrylate adhesive. You buy it at Home Depot, acrylate adhesive, CA glue. This is the activator. This is the glue, the gel itself. 2P10 is another common name. All right, usually it takes about 10 seconds to activate and dry. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-drill my hole here and install a screw just to make sure that we're parallel here, inch and three quarters inch and three quarters perfect these are my clips we have a left and a right one and now we're going to install them here's what i'm doing next i'm going to install my drawer and lightly push on it so those two hooks transfer the mark onto my drawer okay guys this is very important there's a little bit of a wiggle side to side i want to make sure that my drawer closes very very straight and you want to do it by basically eyeballing you hold your rails tight to the drawer like this from underneath and then you open and close it and see how this gap right here how it changes see i open and close it and this gap should be consistent you see how it gets a little bigger now i gotta fix that all right now i'm pretty happy with that pretty even. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to push it all the way in and lightly press on it. And here's what we get. You can barely see it, but it's an indentation here on the wood. And in order to make no mistakes, I'm going to mark it with a pencil right here. Now they're marked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole for the pin with the right size drill bit. So this is my pin right here, my hook, and I'm going to use very similar 
size drill bit. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. It could be a little bigger, a little smaller. The main point is you gotta drill it right where the hook wants to be in order to keep your drawer parallel. Yeah, then that thing is very important. If it's not parallel, you won't be closing properly. All right, I just did my hole. In order not to mess up, what you wanna do here is you wanna put a little stopper on your drill bit, some sort of a flag made with masking tape. And then when it spins, you see where to stop. And this is what I did. That's it, I know where to stop. Okay, now we're ready to install the drawer on the sliders. You wanna give it a little push to make sure it doesn't move, to make sure that your hooks are in the holes. And it seems like we're in. Now it's time to install these clips. Okay, I put my clips on. I haven't done it yet for this reason. Your drawer can still move side to side. You see? You wanna make sure that it's parallel so it doesn't touch either of the side and then attach your clips. And now when I found the right place for them, I simply keep them tight up to the drawer and I simply make a mark all around them. One and two. Now I'm ready to attach the clips. My panel is pretty thin, thus I'm not gonna screw it. I'm going to glue it on. This is the gel and this is the activator. Press and hold for 10 seconds and it's ready. Okay, the clips are on. Now we're ready to install it. And now look at what we got. We have a drawer, an old drawer. You can see all the marks and everything, but now it is closing nice and soft. Look at that.